man. Chapter three, out of the past. Bubo used to work at the PD as a coroner and pathologist. Then a couple of limbs and organs went missing and the morphine stock suspiciously depleted. So the force said goodbye to him. He then set up a private practice, but lost his license pretty quick. Now he's doing something that vaguely resembles medicine. Fixing up gangsters and bent coppers. Or pigeons like us. I hadn't seen the doc since he had to pick a dozen pellets out of my drumstick. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. Well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. The one and only chicken coppers in the rotting flesh. <laughs> Good evening to you too, old owl. Jimmy unlocked the killing complete the second chapter. Oh, has he shot you again? Not yet. Ha ha, it is to laugh. I just need a strong painkiller. And since we're already here, some information too. Well, then I hope your pockets are full. We just crawled out of the river. So if it's all right with you, I can pay with a pocket full of mud. Well, I owe you one anyway. One? Don't make me laugh, Bubo. You're indebted to us for the rest of your life. Okay, okay. Tell me what's wrong and do it fast. It's a busy night. On New Year's Eve, animals love to shoot or even eat each other. Damn. Ah, tell me about it. Tonight's starting to remind me of the bloody New Year's Eve. Or worse. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Did you come here to cry me a river? Spit it out. Then get your wobbly waddles out of here. Ursula will be home soon. Charming as ever, old bird. What do you think? Is this a medical illustration or the good doc's dinner? <laughs> Unfortunately, the two are often one and the same. Ugh. <laughs> that is interesting though how it works, right? Like this game, a lot of the animals are like you know, they got human bodies, but you know, also animal features, whatever animal they are. This is just for decoration, right? Somehow I can't picture you playing the classics. It's Ursula's, not mine. She plays beautifully. I can imagine. Hey, shut your beak or I'm gonna sew it shut for you. All right, calm down. Shady room. Who's that? Who? Oh, he's my father. Oh. You're what? Why are you so surprised? He gave his body to science. Then what's he doing here? Hoo, 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 hoo. You're a hilarious guy. <laughs> that was a good one, Sonny. Yeah, thanks. Huh. Two infantile monkeys. Oh, yuck. It's soaked with blood. Fresh blood. I was operating on someone a few minutes ago. Totally sober, huh? More or less. Probably less. My hands tremble if I don't drink, okay? Just leave me alone. <laughs> you look pretty good, old man. You want a formaldehyde diet? Huh. Your humor hasn't changed. Worn and out of style. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you, Bubo. Spit it out. What do you want from me? Do I have a busy want... night. Busy? I had to patch up two muscle heads a few minutes ago. Of course, they ran off and didn't pay. What muscle heads? Wait, let me guess. A ram and a bobcat. How did you know? Shit. What was that problem? Why did they come here? The bobcat's hand was badly burned and something had sliced the ram. Well, it's not an easy job to haul two unconscious roosters onto an abandoned ship and then set it on fire. What have you gotten yourselves into again, you fools? Those two work for Ibn Wessler. Yeah, don't say. Well, in this case, 
It was nice to know you, gentlemen. Don't celebrate in advance, Doc. As you can see, we're not so easy to kill. Yeah, I'm right, we're not. Just tell us everything you know and give us some strong painkillers. Well, all right. Ask away. But I must warn you. If Ursula comes home and sees you here, she'll either kick you out or maul you to death. Ursula. Name Ursula Fragaria. Species brown bear, gender female. Special feature a big bear with an even bigger heart. Big bear with a big, big heart and a big, big problem called Dr. Boo Boo. Do you keep the dead bodies and your stolen morphine stash here? The morphine's long gone. Oh, poor Boobo. Watch your beak, Martin. Well, just get on with it. Have a little patience, Owl. All right, let's ask him. Joking aside, how are you, Doc? Long time no see. Oh, you should get shot more often than you'd see me more. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm on it. I'm still alive. Clawville's still standing, to my surprise. Ursula still bears with me, to get my it, she's a bear. surprise. What else can I say? You don't need anything else then, right? You know, I could use a big house, a normal job, and a ton of money. That'd be nice. And it'd be great if that ridiculous King Hector would finally resign from the throne. So you still support the Separatists? Wow, this old owl's heart is beating. But your life partner is a bear. Mm, not a problem as long as I don't marry her. You're a goddamn hypocrite, Boobo. Why, thank you. Love is still in the air, I see. I'm a prisoner, boys. <laughs> yeah, the prisoner of your stupidity. Easy for you to say. You can't get rid of a woman like her so easily. A woman like her so easily. Why? Because she's a bear and weighs a ton? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. No. Because no matter how much I hate her, I still love her more than anything. Oh, touching. Hold your tongue, McChicken. What do you know about Madame Zavos and her affairs? Zavos, huh? Who? That woman's probably even more dangerous than Ibn Wessler himself. Oh, great news. Is there some kind of link between them? Ibn's contacts span the entire city, and his new girlfriend, that Natasha, worked in the brothel once. How do you know that? Everybody knows. Oh, great. We almost died for that information. Why didn't you ask? Just shut up, okay? So that Ram and his partner, did they talk about something? About their plans, where they're going next? The Bobcat didn't say a word, he just growled. But the Ram couldn't shut up, and he talks like a butler or something. Like a butler? A very strange vocabulary, I must say. What did they say, Bubo? Get to the point. After they've done the job killing you, I guess, they said they have to kill a rat, too. Rat? A rat. Figuratively. An informer. Someone who spilled the beans and hurt Mr. Wessler's interests. An informer. They called him a sneaky little bastard, too, if that helps. That's gotta be Zip. Of course. Zip. Damn it. Well, then that flea bag's done for. Hold your horses, Marty. Zip is like a cockroach. Practically immortal. I guess. We gotta help him, then. I'm afraid you're right. We still owe him one. One? I didn't even hear that, Bubo. So, who tried to get us out of the way, and why?
Eddie Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. at that place? much sense to me. Like she wants to hide her secret or wants or Natasha herself, maybe that one, but this one, like didn't didn't he know that, like he got her from there, right? So why would he not know? And Ibn tried to kill Natasha, that doesn't I don't know if that makes sense. I'm thinking it's either A or D, but I'm not sure which one. Ah, this ah, doesn't really make sense either, maybe. Or, I don't know. Who are they? Damon Wessler wants to hide the tracks leading to Natasha's past. Or maybe it was Natasha herself. What does it have to do with Zip? Why do they want to kill the raccoon? here behind the building Ursula covered it with a tarp what why she saw it in front of the brothel and she also saw the madam's girls trying to take it apart furry gods what did she do to them well a couple of dames with guns are not enough to scare my dear Ursula that's for sure but relax she didn't tear them to pieces she just chased them off and got away with your car. Okay. You know, for once, that's wonderful news. Yeah, I wore my legs down to get here. Warmest regards to Ursula when she gets back, Doc. She may have saved our lives. <sighs> of course I will. Now, cluck off, will you? Ah, you're the best, Boobo. I know. Will you kindly get lost? Bye. see him anywhere but that jerks here yeah the famous scribbler Tim in the flesh he must have seen something and because he's here 
He must have caught a whiff of a serious case. We should interrogate him. Oh, let me be the bad cop, boss bird. A bad cop. Mission granted. Yes. Maybe he can't understand what we're saying. Or he just doesn't want to talk to us. Which I can understand, considering how most of the animals treat these poor bastards. Indifference is almost as harmful, Sonny. You think I'm indifferent about the insect issue? I didn't say that, boss. I'm not indifferent. I just think we... Well, we've simply gone too far to even make it right. It's never too late to change, Sonny. I hope you're right. Hey, old pal. Could you help us? Does he understand us? I don't know. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen where the raccoon went? The one who owns the joint? Nothing. This quiet... <sighs> You know, I understand why Zip escaped here when he got out of his shady dealings. It's not possible to get all the way out, Marty. What? So you also stay a cop even after retirement? Every cop stays a cop. It burns itself into you. That's good to know. So am I going to stay a cop forever? Sorry, Marty. Well, that's that. <laughs> When all of this is over, you owe me a foot massage. They say an animal's just like his car. Does that mean I'm old and rusty? Well, you said it. What about you? You don't even have a license. That's just it. I'm special and fresh like a spring chicken. No, like a moron. These guys and their spring chicken jokes. Please don't eat me, big guy. <laughs> what the hell? This signs. I've seen that sign before. Scribbler Tim, second rate journalist and first rate ass kisser. He's a huge fan of the chicken police. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, Timbo, my old pal. Hey, well, hello, boys. W what a lovely welcome. You're not scared to see us, are you? Who? Me? <laughs> what are you thinking? I I'm always glad to see you working. Especially together like this is the legendary chicken police. What the hell's going on here, Tim? That's exactly what I was thinking. You see, what the hell could have happened here, right? Very strange. Indeed. Where's Zip, Timbo? Keen observation, boys. Because that's the most exciting thing about the story. Let me guess. A ram and a bobcat appeared and took him with them. Well, uh, you could say that if it happened, but it didn't. Then what? <laughs> Isn't it great? Here's the twist. Start talking, Tim, or we'll have to see if you can really fly. Come on, Sonny. I was supposed to be the bad cop. Shut your beak, Monty. Hey, hey, quit playing tough, will ya? You know I'll help you even if you don't threaten me. I always do. Mostly. Stop babbling. Just answer the question. Hey, Timbo. What about the old fly guy? Did he see something? Maybe he did, but he's not talking. He didn't even speak when the coppers were asking him. And not even when one of them kicked him and the other spat on him. <laughs> Tough fella indeed. Those fuckers. The fly was silent, no matter what. After they left, he just picked up his guitar and started strumming like nothing happened. Poor bastard. If I only knew who they were. Then what? What'll you do? Beat them and spit on them? Like they did with this fella? They deserve it. Well, that's one thing, Marty, but things don't work that way. So, what about Zip? I'm telling you, I don't know. He was already gone by the time I got here. Why are you still sniffing around? Uh... I was uh, trying to make that fellow talk over there. What, the old fly guy? You speak insect? What if I do? I'm educated, you know? Oh, sure you are. All right, Tim, my patience is gone. It's time you start singing like the songbird you are. Hey, that's seabird. Okay, okay, back off. We're old friends, aren't we? Exactly. That's why I haven't smeared the walls with you yet. <laughs> Ouch.
What do you know about Madame Zavos, Timothy? What's the old hag up to these days? I only know what everybody does. She's rich, she owns a brothel, allegedly she used to be a spy, and she's an enthusiastic supporter of the Crown and the Royalist Party. What else? Well, I haven't heard anything else, I swear. She's surrounded by secrets. She was a spy, you know. Although... Although what? Yes. A little bird told me she's been entertaining quite a lot of foreign guests recently. I mean, real high-quality VIP guests. Who? From where? Well, I don't know, but allegedly, she's welcomed patrons from Stavonia, Averia, and even Nautica. Basically from everywhere that matters. And? Well, that's all. You know I can get into everywhere, but even I give the Nile a white berth. Those wild girls are capable of anything protecting the madam. Trust me. Yeah, we've noticed. Have you seen anything weird around the river? You mean the smoke and burning ship? Exactly. Oh! No, I haven't seen that. <laughs> Bro, okay. Timbo's a douchebag, so it's not hard to draw <laughs> the truth from him. <laughs> so what the hell are you doing around here, Timbo? Uh, all right, I confess, but you'll be surprised. I was looking for you, boys. The whole town's talking about you. Really? I'm swelling with pride. Everybody's whispering about the chicken police being back together again. And that you've already turned the whole city upside down. Great news. What else do they say? That you've threatened Ibn Wessler's sweetheart Natasha, then trashed Madame Zabas's brothel. Hard stuff. Really? I'm not surprised. Oh, and the best! You set fire to a ship, too. Yeah, right. Ah, and one more thing. A poor girl was found dead at Natasha's place after you visited there. Is that so? And you believe all that? I'm a journalist, Sonny. It doesn't matter what I believe. Yeah, right. And why were you looking for us here, of all places? You offend me, Sonny. I'm your biggest fan. I knew the hop dog's gonna be on your list. So it was a lucky guess. Uh, something like that. Mm. And I'm wasting time here often anyway, so I had nothing to lose. And here we are. Out with it, Tim. Who squawked? Well, any decent journalist has connections everywhere, Sonny. So have I. So? You don't think I'm gonna betray my source? Do you take me for a rat? What happened to Zip, Tim? Okay. When I arrived here, the hop dog was already closed. Zip wanted to shoo me away, but I managed to persuade him to talk to me a little. Uh, we're old friends, Sonny, you know? And, uh, I have this personal charm. Sure you do. Yeah, right, the, uh, charm. Get to the point, Timbo. Uh, okay, okay. So, he was totally crazy. I've never seen him like that before. He was flustered, flailing, and talking absolute gibberish. He must have said something, since you're such great friends. He just said he'd go to the only place where there are even bigger scoundrels than those that are after him. Really? I can guess where he meant. I didn't have a clue. Anyway, after he closed the dog behind me, and then the cops came and took him away in handcuffs, I came to the conclusion that all of this makes no sense. Zip, you clever son of a bitch. Why? Oh, what is it? Oh, tell me. You just keep your beak out of this, Scribbler. I think I've got an idea about what our little friend's up to. Timbo loves to brag, and it's easy to approach him through his ego. Best if we ruthlessly exploit that. Bro.
working on a new front page article, eh? Well, if a specific celebrity couple's willing to give me an interview, then uh, maybe I am. Don't even dream about it, Timmy. <laughs> Who told you we were working together again? Ah, you're one cunning bastard, Sonny. You already asked that, only a little differently, eh? You Was I that tr see through pal? Timbo, you pay attention to everything. Did anyone else come here? Besides the coppers? Yeah, a ram and a bobcat, in fact. But you just told us it wasn't them. W wasn't them what? I didn't say they took Zip, because that's not how it happened. Don't make me mad, Tim. We're really not in the mood for this. Hey, I I'm only telling you the truth. They stopped here in a fancy big car, uh, looked around, then left. Zip was no longer here. Neither were the coppers, okay? Tiny Tim is a true fan of ours, and it's time to finally use that to our advantage. Help your old pals, Tim. What was Zip doing before they took him away? Hey, you're trying to grease me up with all that sw- Of course not, Tim Tim. I'm sure we are, but I don't remember you telling me that. I'm glad to hear that. Zip was acting crazy. He was running around, knocking over everything, and throwing things away. Then he suddenly disappeared into the kitchen. I guess that's when he made the call. Because hmm. soon after that, the coppers arrived. Okay. And in between? Well, I didn't see him in between. Why didn't you go inside? He's your friend, isn't he? Well, I tried, Sonny. The door was closed. I, I knocked, even yelled. You know how a yelling seagull sounds like. <laughs> but nothing. I think I have a hunch what that was all about. Good for you, Sonny. Zip was hiding something in the dog, right? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Well, you tell me. You're good old friends, aren't you? Well, that's right, Sonny, but Zip's not the kind to easily share his secrets. But now that you put it that way... That's more like it, Tim. Tell me, what do you know? I don't know what it could be exactly. I mean, maybe it's not even relevant, but I'm sure Zip was trying to get rid of something when I arrived here. What and where? I don't know, okay? I, I already told you too much. If Zip hears about me telling you all this, he's never gonna talk to me again. Tim, unless we find Zip, he's not gonna talk to anyone ever again. Not in this life, at least. 90% accuracy, let's go, dude. Look at this mess. Looks like he was in a real hurry, or was trying to erase his tracks. Because he was trying to hide something. But where? But where and most indeed? of all, what? Let's take a good look around. Songbird, collect all the songs of the jukebox, achievement unlocked. Let's go. does have a nice soundtrack. I, I love the noir type of songs, man. Gonna... 
we get over this whole mess, I'm gonna take you to a concert. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Swear. Yeah, well, good luck with that. You'll see. Just wait. Ugh, I wouldn't dare touch that. <laughs> good question, pal. Huh, what insight. Nice pancake with hemp seed, chocolate, and black onions? I'd rather have somebody pull my beak off. Ah, you used to be more daring. Yeah, and my back didn't hurt either. Furry heavens, it's depressing being around you, boss bird. I think poor Marty just lost the last little bit of his sanity. Greetings, pal. What can I get you? What are you doing, Marty? A nice hot cup of coffee? Maybe some toast? Ooh, our strawberry jam pancake is divine. You must have hit your head pretty bad. Yes, sir. One coffee and a turbo milkshake with extra vanilla and millet powder coming right up. Ah, furry gods, help me. Please don't have a nervous breakdown, okay? Did you find something? Nothing. Or, I mean... There's a lot of stuff here, but nothing important to us. A pity. Whatever that mangy raccoon tried to hide must still be here. Or not. All right, let's Body go look here. already looked through it. Nothing interesting. Wait, here? The kingdom of dirty dishes. Nothing? What the hell are we looking for, then? See, I gotta refer to my book, Candy Dandy Notebook, here. Well, he, I would assume that he called the cops in so that he wouldn't get killed by those other guys, right? to like it here it's like a new job new life well if this case gets plucked up you'll find yourself looking for a job so enjoy it oh, 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 oh. what's going on lewick man what am i missing here like what is the kingdom of dirty not sure what <laughs> hola lucy como estas hola 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 Lion soup. Hail to you, Lord of all the pancakes. Don't. Ah, please. Ah, is 
that the case? I think so. I'd like to visit the hive again. Yeah. Yeah, right. A 912 Van Dillon. Hey. Ah, sheep. Sh yeah. Are you looking for a headline, even on new... I have to make a... It's not work for... A nice cup of coffee feels especially good after a little thrashing. Yep. If you can make good coffee, of course. Well, plumy gods, take it easy, boys. What am I missing, dude? I don't understand what I'm missing here. Coffee. It's not the doodles, not the mini. Or the poster of the, the kingdom of. Right? Oh my. I wouldn't eat here if my life depended on it. Eat garbage? Yeah. What am I missing here? Anything? Still nothing. But I'm starting to like. Well, ha oh, oh. The kingdom of dirty. Why even have that door there if I can't go through it? Shit. Look at this. Hey, what? I'm looking, but what the hell could it be? No idea, Marty. Guess it's best if we ask the owner himself. Where do we find him? Well, Timbo told us he's with even worse bastards than the one chasing him. That's it. The Parliament. No, Marty, but close. Then... No way. Oh, yes, Marty. Zip is at the Clawville City Police Department. Could it be that simple and that wild? Well, the cops took him. So it's obvious that he called the cops by himself to That's scare away thinking, Wessler's too. henchmen. Doesn't he know half the police is in Wessler's pocket? He probably does, but this was his only chance. Uh, then he really is in big trouble. So, to the PD then? Well, yeah, I haven't got a better idea. Believe me, I'd love to have one. A wristband, huh? Why did you keep that wristband? Oh, well, we're gonna find out. Have you found what you were looking for? No, Timbo, but we wouldn't tell you even if we did. Ah, but you have. You are an open book to me, Sonny. So, uh, thanks for the intel. Be careful what you're writing, Timmy boy. I'm a cop for only the next 121 days. After that, I can gut you if I want and get away with it. And when did you being a cop stop you? He has a point. Just keep a low profile, okay, Timster? Okay, okay, I get it. My beak is sealed. Zoop. Off we go. Oh shit, we're getting Fucking shot at? Furry hell. What the so hell? So they know we're still alive? And they'd like to do something about it. Shoot the car. Okay.
can't I just shoot the fucking tires? These are the wheels. Come on, huh? We could only hope we'd arrived in time. If they'd taken Zip that was weird. That was a weird room, shootout. The thing. hole, as we called it, and beaten the truth out of him, we'd lose the trail and end up in a dead end. It was time to be fast and ruthless. God damn it, Zip! Why couldn't you stay out of this? Ah, look who's here—the top of the cops. Idiot's luck. They must have gotten soaking wet because of those holes. Sometimes I wonder how these two are even still alive in a city like this. Wonders of the world, Marty. <sighs> They're never gonna use an umbrella, are they? There's not a chance in hell those two would ever admit what morons they are. Hey, Marty, don't they remind you of someone? Damn. Fuck off. Hey, guys. Beautiful night, huh? Maybe a little wet, but, uh... Well, to be honest, I'm soaked to the bone. Maybe the spikes... Shut the fuck up, Roy's. And you, don't you have anything better to do, eh? Better than this? Nah, nothing. We love clowns. Ah, piss off, chicken. <laughs> How many of these did we wreck in ten years, Sonny? Nine. And I have no idea. How much does it cost the city to keep us on the force? Well, stop thinking about it. It'll make... Yeah, right. You know, Sonny, I hate the old hand from the bottom of my heart. Well, I can understand that. But still, if it weren't for him, half the city would have been drowned in filth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's hard to admit, Marty, but without him, we wouldn't be here today, you and me. Do you think he knows that? Well, I won't tell him. Not until his funeral, right? Not until the day after, brother. Last traces of the cast. Blood Boyle took care of the family for good. Gruesome. Oh, don't misunderstand me. They got what they deserved. But, you know, once you pull out a weed like that. Two more spring up in the same place. Exactly. But that doesn't mean we should give up fighting. Why not? What's the point of fighting in vain all your life? Because otherwise, the bad guys win. Martin! Yes, Chief? You know what I've heard. I have no idea, Chief. You think I'm stupid, birds? No, no, we, uh, we don't, Chief. What the ever-loving fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, Chief, if I may... Sonny, shut the fuck up! You're not on duty. You're suspended, if you remember. So I'm not your chief right now. Oh, we just stepped out for a coffee, Chief. Then we saw something suspicious at the Czar Club, and we investigated it, and, um... Suspicious, right? You investigated, right? Yes, sir. Do you take me for a fool, chickens? And what do you know about the burning ship that lit up the entire time? Burning, uh, what? <laughs> Wild lords, that, that sounds awful. Don't play innocent with me, Santino. You both stink like you're in deep, deep shit. <laughs> well, you don't think we had anything to do with that, do you? I don't know. But if you do, I will find out. You better know that. I swear, Chief. <laughs> I've had enough of your swearing for a lifetime. Get the fuck out of my sight. Yes, sir. Have a beautiful day, Chief. Don't let me see you again, Santino. Or... I'll try not to be seen, Chief. I'm not your Chief. Get lost. Tonight, the heart of the station is beating incessantly. That was beautiful, boss. Hey, Monica. Hey, boys. I hear the city's on fire since you're back together again. Not yet, but all is not lost. Metaphorically, I mean. So, how can I help you? We need some information, if you're uh, not busy. Of course I'm busy, and of course you need information. But I'll help you, as always. You're an angel. Yeah, I know, Marty. Guess who we had the chance to meet? Madame Zavos. The legend herself. So you're that lonely? 
I didn't think that was your thing, Sonny, but you know what's best for you. We were there to investigate. Of course. And were you successful? To be honest, they beat us and tried to burn us alive. Inside of a sinking ship. Wow. Busy night, right? Even for you. Yeah. So, uh, what do you know about the madam? Eh, nothing much. She's not had any run-ins with the police recently. Hmm, of course. Because half the PD goes to her. Well, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Do you know anything about a girl named Deborah Ibanez? You mean the Bambi whose body was found in Natasha Kutsenko's weekend house with huge red letters on her back? Don't call her a Bambi. So you knew her? Just fleetingly. Anyway, I don't even want to know. I don't know much about her. Moses and Plato are on that case. Thanks for the intel, Mon. Anything else worth mentioning? You were at the scene, right? We? <laughs> of course not. Sonny, you can't lie to me. You just can't. Is this some kind of interrogation? Just leave us alone, Bro. Monica. You're an open book for me, Sonny. Remember that. Look, Mon. We suspect Madame Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. Any idea why? No, but those two mean trouble by themselves. I don't envy you, boys. Seriously, any ideas? Nothing, anything. Yeah, well, you can. Right about immediately. And that. You're kind of right. We can't, Mon. We gotta see this through to the end. Famous last words. I'm really not in the mood to meet Deputy Malloy or any of my ex-colleagues from the Predatory Division. Where are the insects, anyway? And the reptiles? Did you ever think about that? Many times. I think they didn't fit the idyllic image, so they've been left out. Simple as that. Uh, that says a lot about this city. It says everything, Monty. of hell in the flesh i don't think any kind of devil would be brave enough to get a dog like this son of a bitch <laughs> so we're in a bind now we have to get our buddy bosco away from zip if we want to have a word with him what are you thinking i don't know yet you two again say bosco what's all this about uh, zip yeah if only i knew this idiot called us on himself. He told us we have to take his statement. And what does he want to confess to? I don't know yet. We still can't get it out of him. But we're taking him down to the hole soon. There, he'll sing like a little bird for us. No pun intended. Would you mind if we asked him a few questions before that? You know, just for old time's sake. Sorry, boys, but you know the rules. The rules, right. More like blood boil. <laughs> yeah. More like blood boil. So sorry. Zip H. Murphy. Do you believe he's really that scared? Or is it just an act? Zip's a good actor, but he's not that good. If Wessler's henchmen are after him, he has good reason to be afraid. Sorry, boys. I can't let you do that. You know, protocol. You and protocol, Bosco? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That's the case, boys, like it or not. Stop harassing the witness. Well, what can I do? Sorry, guys. Don't you have anything more important to do, Bosco? I do, but Blood Boil ordered me to guard good old Zip here. Oh, wow. Then it's time to say goodbye to the Trash Panda. We may be seeing him for the last time. <laughs> You're probably right, boys. <coughs> A busy day, sir. Sonny, you think I'm just joking, right? Speak to me one more time, and I'll fire your ass. Uh, understood, sir. Sorry. I hope this doesn't count. Get the fuck out of my sight, Santino. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Did anyone ever tell you you're a real pain in the ass, Sonny? Only my mother, sir. <laughs> so how do we get these guys out of here, then? Don't drink that shit, Marty. It's bad for your health. Sonny, you are bad for my health. Some shooting practice can't hurt, Sonny. I'm 
I'm sure you're rusty to your bones. Oh, you think so, eh? There's one way to find out. The good old Magnum. Hello, Annabelle. How are we today? Annabelle? You give her a different name every time? You know, we never get bored of each other this way. Hey, you named her too, if I recall. I swear, if we ever visit an insane asylum, they'll never let us go. Don't tempt fate, Sonny. <laughs> Score at least 5,000 points at the shooting range. Hey, look at that. Oh, we gotta try that again. Y'all could have done much better. There you go, not bad. Hey, high score. We're good with that. Hey, Katie, what's up? What's going on? Uh, you still think we don't need this, Sonny? I'm crazy, but not that crazy. Ah, shame. Maybe I should thank him. Hey, Marty, uh, listen. Yeah? <clears throat> Well, nothing. You it's just, something uh, all right, Katie. I'm liking it, though. Go on. Well, let's just... Uh... Sonny, relax. I know, all right? You know. I know. You're sorry. You didn't mean it. And you thank me. Uh, um... Well? Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Then let's pretend you did. Forget about it. Okay, partner. <laughs> what do you think? What's next? Oh, you're asking my opinion now? Yeah. Why? Why is that? You haven't done that in ten years, Boss Bird. Only nine. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sure the wristband's the key. 
Whatever those numbers mean, it's important enough for Zip to risk his life. And a lot of things can be said about Zip, but stupid's not one of them. And he hates cops, so he'd only get himself locked up if he had no other choice. Exactly. What are those numbers again, actually? Why did you keep that wristband? Well then, for all the wilds, Sonny... I don't understand how you do it, Sonny. Do what? You drive him crazy, yet he still doesn't bite your head off. Because he respects me, Marty. I may... That's why you drive the poor old dog mad? No, I do it because I'm bitter and twisted. Oh, yeah. Well... Yeah, goody... Sorry, boys. I can't let you do that. You and Pro... That's the... Well, what can I do? What about the raccoon? What's he doing here? You tell me. You're here because of him, am I right? Oh, are we that easy to read? I know you as if you're my own chicks, boys. Oh, don't get too excited, Marty. <laughs> when did they bring in the trash panda? Not even an hour ago. You're just in time. They haven't taken him into the hole yet. Yeah, I can see. Listen, Mon, uh, would you do us a favor? Can I be honest? Not really. Oh, just a small <laughs> thing. For old time's sake. Me and my big heart. So, what do you want? Call Bosco over here for some reason, okay? So that we can have a quick talk with Zip. Okay, I guess I can do that. But you owe me one. Well, thank you somehow. I promise. No, no promises this time. Shoes. Shoes? Size 35, high heels, black. Okay. Um, yes, ma'am. Good. Hey, Bosco. Yes, ma'am. Come over here for a second. Right away. Perfect. Hello, Zip. <laughs> Hello, boys. Uh, what's up? We were trying to visit you, but guess what? Yeah, you know, you're Zip. nowhere to be found. Yeah, I don't get it either. But suddenly the cops appeared and uh... cut the crap, Zip. We talked to Tim. We were at the dog and at Bubo's, Zip. Two meatheads were talking about gutting a rat. A rat? An informant, Zip. We immediately knew it was you. Isn't that flattering? <laughs> I can explain, boys. My... They wanted to cook us, Zip. We're lucky to be alive. Then we walked our feet to the bone and almost got shot to pieces just a couple of minutes before. What Sonny means is we're not in the mood for bullshit or raccoon shit. But boys, I have no idea what they want from you. I don't know what they want from me either. We have time. And by the looks of it, you have too, pal. So start telling us what you have to do with all of this. Bubo doesn't have a high opinion of you, Zip. How do you know him? You see these stitches? His weight. All of them. Ah, I see. My condolences. Eh, he's a good friend of mine. But the word friend is misspelled in his dictionary. Have you ever been to the Nile, Zip? Oh, I wish, man. But my kind can't get in there. Why, did you? Right in the madam's room, if you're interested. Oh, so that's why you look like that. Bingo. Did you know that the place has ties to the Wessler Empire? That place has ties to everything and everyone in Clawville, boys. Even to the royal family. I'll bet my tail on it. What do you think about this uh, paper? I've seen better, Sonny Boy, but that's not paper. Do you know what it is? At first glance, it's canvas. A piece of a painting, but it's too small and too blurry to make anything of it. So, still nothing. Well, thanks anyway, Zip. Anytime, boys. Are we done? Nope. So, we were just about to listen to some sweet music when, uh... Didn't that damn jukebox break all of a sudden? Oh, damn it. Damn it indeed, Zip. There was a wristband behind it with numbers on it. 984-237-22 to be exact. Huh? 
All that from memory? How the hell? I have no idea either. And it scares me too, but that's not the point. <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> Martina's memory. That is, if you want to leave this place on your feet. Okay, okay. You got me. I'll talk, but only if you promise that the cops won't know about this. Do we look like we're on duty? Zip is a real opportunist. He's trying to turn everything to his advantage, but we're gonna turn the table. My, 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 how the, the turns have tabled. Who did you escape from? And why here, Zip? Why? <laughs> because I like living, that's why. How did you know they were coming for you? I got a tip off from a friend that I should pack my things and go if I want to live. But I had no way to run. Yeah, you know me. The hop dog's my everything. So you thought you'd be safe here? Of course. If it's people are everywhere, but uh, yeah, maybe it's harder to get rid of me at the PD. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. How did you manage to piss off Ibn Wessler? I don't know, all right? I don't have time for this. Sing like a bird, or I can't guarantee your safety. I did something for him, that's all, okay? A tiny little favor. You know how it goes, Sonny. Animals like Wesler make a living out of these kinds of favors. Tiny little favor, eh? Wesler's kind don't send assassins after someone for tiny little favors. You have no idea what's going on in his head nowadays, pal. Fella gone totally insane. What did he have on you, Zip? You know the drill. I asked something of him once, and he told me one day he's gonna ask me for something in return. And that day finally came, right? Yeah. And I had to do it. Because even if I got out of it, he dragged me back for good. Or worse. Or oh, worse. Nail your hide to the wall. <laughs> yeah. That's the least he would do, believe me. What did you have to do for Ibn? I never hurt anyone, all right? Let's make that clear right now. I never said you did. I just had to get rid of a package for the boss. That was the job. Quick, clean, simple, right? Yeah? What kind of package? A very heavy one. Dead bodies are kind of heavy, Zip. How did you know it was a dead body? I didn't. I was bluffing, but uh, thanks for the answer. You lousy chicken. <laughs> you idiot, Zip. Zip's a secretive little specimen, but knowing his past, it's no surprise. I must take advantage of this and trap him with it. So, a dead body, huh? What kind, exactly? How should I know? What am I, a butcher? A zoologist? You still know something about it. It was wrapped up entirely, okay? I didn't see any of it. It was, uh, I don't know, average, like you and me. Scaly, hairy, furry, feathery, or bald? What kind, exactly? Hey, I don't know, all right? I told you it was wrapped up. If they let you out, what do you think will happen? I don't know, okay? Well, maybe it was a stupid idea coming here, but this was my best stupid idea. Maybe I'll win a few days with it. Or a few hours, more likely. If you help us, maybe we can cover this whole mess up. You mean you can be bought, Sonny? <laughs> what a time to be alive. The unbribable Santino Featherland. I'm suspended, Zip, and I'm talking chicken to raccoon. Oh, I see. You're a foul foul. Why did you keep that wristband? Because it seemed important. And because, you know me, I'm trying to turn every situation to my advantage. That's the way Zip works. Right. How, exactly? Who knows? It seemed important. It just fell out of the body bag, and I thought... Put him in a body bag! It's important, so uh, why not? 
That's why they want to kill you. I have no friggin' way of knowing that. Why don't you ask them, huh? What happened to the body, Zip? I don't know, Sonny. All I had to do was drop it in an abandoned part of the hive. Where starvation's most prevalent, I guess. Where insects fight for their survival, right? I couldn't have found a better way to get rid of a corpse myself. All that fresh meat must have been gone in a matter of minutes. Fuck, I don't know. I didn't stick around to see what happened. Ugh, you make me sick, Zip. You would have done exactly the same thing in my situation. Anyone would have. I got the order, I did what I had to. I wanted to survive. Yeah, that's even for you. Blackmail. Yeah, something like that. Zip may be secretive, but if he manages to open up, he's also honest. He's not trying to change the subject anymore, so I only have one thing left to do. Ask the right questions. Let's see, let's see. What exactly did Ibn's men want with you? Did you squeal to anyone? Ibn's gone mad, you understand? Something happened, and the whole city's afraid. And I have a hunch it has something to do with the appearance of you guys, the chicken police. So, he's trying to tie up the loose ends before we can unravel the case. I'm thinking exactly that. Do you know what it means? What does it mean, Zip? Let me guess. Yeah. I'm in mortal danger because of you, Sonny. Stop being so dramatic, Zip. Did you tell anyone? Other than you, no one. I'm asking you for the last time. What's with the wristband? I honestly have no idea, Sonny. It simply fell out of the bag when I threw it down in the alley. At first, I wanted to leave it there, but then, uh, well, you know me, huh? And that's the whole story? That's the whole story. At first, I thought it was some kind of, uh, code. But on a wristband, it's usually an ID number instead. Like on prisoners? Exactly. But I know from experience that prisoners don't get bands like this. Not in Clawville. It looks more like something from a hospital. Yeah, maybe you're right, Zip. While we're at it, was it Dr. Bubo who gave you the tip-off to get out of the hop dog? Yeah, it was. Why? Thanks, Zip. You've helped us put some vital pieces into place. Well, that's great. That didn't help me, Sonny. I don't want to rot in here or end up in the alley of the hive. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. You gotta help me. Be glad I'm not charging you as an accomplice to murder here and now. Just keep your head down. Understand? I will, boss bird. I will. That's more like it. 90%. 10 questions asked. Okay. So you're telling me you have no idea what this is. It's a wristband. I see the same thing as you. This was the only thing left of the dead body. And me. You know me. They don't call me Sticky Fingers for nothing. Oh, good old Sticky Fingers Zip. So you just... Zippy okay. Zippo Zippy Boy. Maybe for some blackmailing? Who knows? Maybe it just hurt my sense of justice. I wanted to know who I buried. You're a real bastard, Zip. A real first grade bastard. Should I say thanks? Thanks. Just lay low, Zip. Real low. Thanks for the advice, Sonny. So where to next? Where did that wristband come from? I got bad news, Marty. I only know one person who knows about medical stuff. Oh, no. We were just there. Sorry, partner. <laughs> Bubo again. Oh, that's funny, dude. Oh, that's hilarious. Ursula, dear? Oh, oh, what's the rush? Is there something wrong? Wrong? 
wrong. That dim-witted, insane, ragged old stinky owl. That's what's wrong. Whoa, whoa. It's all right, Ursula. Just tell us what happened. What happened? You happened. And Wester's goons. It was supposed to be the only day of the year we could have relaxed a little. We're sorry, Ursula. You're right. Like I care, Marty. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the bitter old owl, and I'm tired of waiting. And? Never mind. I'm going. This time, I'm going for good. Hang in there, Ursula. And if there's anything we can do to help... Anything? Of course there is, my dear. I never want to see your faces again. Ouch. I'm going to try to talk to the old owl, all right? <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, and uh, Ursula, thanks for all you've done for us. With the car. You know, I'm starting to regret it. That was rough. Yeah, but understandable. I only see Bubo once a year, and <laughs> even that's way too much. A lot of people feel the same about us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Do you think he's broken up about it? Bubo? You mean because of Ursula? I don't think so. He's too proud ever to admit he was wrong. Or say he saw. Okay, but deep down inside. Oh, I don't want to know what's deep down inside of Bubo, Marty. Hey, what's up, Doc? Somehow we guessed we'd find you still awake. Stop playing innocent. I've heard that little intermezzo. I have the ears of an owl, you know. It's because you are one. We're very sorry, Bubo. I'm sure she'll come back. Of course she'll come back. She loves me. I don't know why. And she's afraid that I'll drink myself to death once she's gone for good. She's not wrong about that. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? We're here for some information. Then we'll be out of your hair. I mean, feathers. Who cares? So what do you want? And be quick about it. Say, Bubo, about Ursula. What about her? Well, that's just it. What if she's not coming back? I'm a little worried about you, Doc. And you know that's not my style. Well, don't worry, boys. The wind's blowing, the sun's shining, and Ursula always comes back. Exactly. There are things in the universe that are unchangeable. Okay. Touching, but you should be prepared for the worst. I thought Molly was coming back too, you know? Oh, yeah. I trust Ursula, Sonny. What else can I do? Well, to be honest, that's all you can do. What do you know about this wristband, Bubo? Zip said they gave these to patients in hospitals. That's why we came back to you. Hmm. Something similar, yes, but not exactly the same. It's different. And? And what? Well, what do you think? Where's this from? How the hoot would I know, Sonny? What am I, some kind of psychic? That I put my hands on it and tell you? Okay, let's try another approach. That rat you mentioned was Zip. Should I be surprised or what? Or what? I knew it was him. Yeah. Yeah, we knew you knew. What did that old raccoon do this time? Ibn was blackmailing him with something. That's what we wanted to ask you. Do you know anything about it? I don't care about Wessler's dealings, Sonny. I patch up whoever winds up here, and I don't care if they're cops or gangsters. Or gangster cops. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, brother. Do you have any idea why Wessler's men were looking for Zip so hard? I don't. How should I know? Why should I care? He had to hide a body. The body of someone Wessler killed. The wristband is from the corpse. Really? Hmm. That rang a bell, old owl. 
Well, boys, if I'm right, you're in deep shit. So everybody's been saying from the start. That's more like it. Tell us, Bubo. So, Wessler, the wristband, and a corpse, huh? It looks very much like I know the connection. <laughs> or at least I have a hunch. Out with it, owl face. Okay, don't peck me, chickens. <laughs> Hobart Ibn Wessler has a relative who happens to be a resident at an insane asylum. The band is very likely from there. Okay. Wait, a relative? What kind of relative? Yeah. You don't know? I thought you were the detectives. <laughs> anyway, Ibn Wessler has a twin brother, Albert. A brother, huh? Albert Wessler. You put it together very skillfully, Marty. Yes, Albert Wessler. He's a madman kept in solitary confinement. Do you think he's the corpse? But why? How the hell should I know that? Thanks, Bubo. If what you told us is true, then this time we'll owe you one. Will wonders never cease? So, Albert Wessler. Which asylum do you mean, Bubo? It's got some fancy long name. I don't remember, but I have a brochure. Let me find it for you. Thanks, Bubo. Well, here it is. Let there be peace forever. Mental institution that, for uh, and damaged minds. That is a quite a big fool. Yeah, that's look quite the name. Where can we find it? I've never heard of it. It's a good six-hour drive from Clawville. Jeez. Maybe more. But you'll find everything in the brochure. You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. Whew. Finally. Now get your chicken scratchers out of here while I'm asking nicely. Just one more thing. What's that, Bubo? If that someone was really Albert Wessler, the trouble's bigger than you think. It's always bigger than we think, Bubo. We're used to it. You don't understand. Ibn Wessler never loved and respected anyone in his life like he did his brother Albert. So what? Then the problem's bigger than we thought. A cornered rat bites. Well, thanks for worrying about us, Doc. But there's no way back from here. Too far, too late. We're like hounds, old man. Once we've caught someone's leg, we never let it go. Who? Not while you're alive, eh? Yeah, exactly. Well, goodbye then, fellas. And I wouldn't mind if you never visited me again. The pleasure was all ours, Doc. Okay. Name Albert Taddeus Wessler, species rat, gender male, special feature, he's a dangerous lunatic. Personal infos. Albert Wessler is Hobart Ibn Wessler's twin brother who is being treated in an insane asylum far from the city. You finally proved useful. What was that ruckus all about? Ursula's not one to lose her patience quickly. She has literally infinite patience, boys. But somewhere, even infinity has to end. I think infinity's infinite because it has no end. Oh, shut up, Martin. I'll zip it. Who? 
This day was too much for her. We were supposed to go out for a date or something. It's New Year's Eve after all. You know. But that's when those bastards arrived. Then the even worse bastards. You. And that was too much for her. Ah, uh, yeah, I can understand that. Somehow tonight, we're shocking everybody we come across. And don't you think that's a sign? Sign of what? That the time for the chicken police is over. On the contrary, old man. Everything's the same as it used to be. Great wild ones preserve us. But spit it out. What exactly do you want? And make it snappy, will ya? You're right, Doc. We had to gather ourselves, take a deep breath, and think over what we knew so far. What the chickens had I got myself into? What the chickens? What did I drag Marty into? Moreover, what had we pulled the whole city into? This was going to be one of those cases that changed things forever. But I wasn't worried about myself. It didn't matter to me. Too many pieces had been plucked off this old rooster. But Marty's different. He's too good of a bird and too good of a cop to end up like me. Mm -hmm. A secret twin brother? Sonny, I'm starting to feel like we're really in a detective novel. A cheap one. Yeah, but uh, listen, Marty. What is it, Boss Bird? I think it's best if we go our separate ways. What? Are you joking? I know you have a weak sense of humor, but there's a limit to everything. I'm not joking, Marty. Well, I certainly hope you are. Whatever comes next, you don't need to be mixed up in it. You have someone to go home to. Guys, damn it, Sonny. Can you hear yourself? What do you think? I endured all this to give up now? What do you take me for? No, pal. You're not getting rid of me so easily. I just want you to keep your career and your life intact, you moron. Just accept it, shake my hand, and go home. Your wife, Laura, is waiting for you. One more word, Sonny, and I swear I'm gonna bash your beak in. <laughs> I risked my life more than once tonight. You know why? No. Why? Because we're a team. We have been a team for almost a decade. Now, I don't care what Blood Boil says or whatever's on a goddamn piece of paper. We're the chicken police, Sonny. And we always will be. I'm sorry. You're right. We're gonna go to that insane asylum and wrap this shit up fast and clean. Yeah, just like you said, even if it kills us. Thanks, Marty. Without you, I'd most likely already be sleeping the big sleep. Birds of a feather flock together, right? <laughs> like you say, partner. Uh, let's drop this before you start crying on me, okay? <laughs> I hope not. You almost just did. Ah, cluck off, Marty. That's the spirit, the Sonny I know and hate. Alright, that's... Five 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 nine six six. Let's see what happens. No answer. You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. Five 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 nine six six. So Okay. Nobody's uh nobody's picking up here. 
We gotta figure out what other you stuff know, I'm missing. I thought about it multiple times that you might be Meredith H. Marble. We've met her on a number of occasions, Marty. Remember? Her real name is Susie. Maybe Susie's just an actress you hired. You've read too much of that cheap garbage, Marty. There's no conspiracy theory. Susie's just a money-hungry little dame who made a fortune off of us. That's all. Yeah, you're disappointing. I know. A stack of papers. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it, Sonny. If it weren't for you, nobody would have tried to kill me with a Tommy gun or set fire to a ship with me in it. Yeah, how lucky you are, huh? Damn right. What do you think, Marty? What? You care what I think? Stop fooling around, Marty. I'm serious. Well, I think we're in deep shit. But to be honest, Eben Wessler is in deeper shit. Do you think he really murdered his brother? But why? And what does it have to do with Natasha and the threats? Uh, it doesn't add up yet. Something's missing. Let's visit the institution and try to find out what we can about this Albert Wessler fella. Exactly. If he's the dead body, we've got to know what the motive was. If we can't, and if he's still alive, we got to ask him directly. And what do you think, Sonny? I think Ibn, Albert, and Natasha are the three key players in this case, and that all of it has something to do with the brothel. And the fact that Natasha used to be a... <clears throat> courtesan? Yeah, that too. Listen, Sonny, about Molly... Ah, oh, just forget it, Marty, okay? She's not part of my life anymore, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Forget it. Let's concentrate on the case, and on making it out alive, and helping Natasha, too. Whatever you say, Boss Bird. So you think Natasha's really in danger? It could be, or she could even be behind everything. No, you don't believe that. I'm not sure what I believe, Marty. Mm. Let's see. Things got mixed up at the brothel. obvious, and Ibn wanted to keep that a secret. A secret, it seems, somebody else had to pay for. the wristband. Who could it belong to? was almost certainly Albert Wessler, a resident of an insane asylum. But why did he have to die?
still don't know what that is. Or who that is. So where exactly is this place? A few hours drive from here, in the middle of nowhere. It's a creepy old mansion, of course. You think it's a good idea to go there? What if it's a trap? I told you, you can still go back. Huh, wouldn't you love that? No such luck, boss. If I get killed or locked up forever in an insane asylum, that's gonna be on you. Thanks, pal. I deserve that. Okay. You still trust her? I never trusted her, Marty. I mean, you believe her? I'm sure she was honestly afraid. People don't fake it that easy. But I can understand why she didn't tell us about her uh, former profession. Or how she knows Molly. Yeah, that too. And the death of Deborah complicated things even more. Hey, Sonny, she... She didn't seduce you, right? I mean, Natasha. Ah, don't be stupid, Marty. My old ticker hasn't been beating for a long time. Not that way, anyway. Yeah, all right, boss. So what do you think happened to the corpse? Probably been eaten. Horrible to think about, but... Even if half of what they say about the hive is true, starvation, riots, arson, predation. You're telling me. Makes my feathers stand on end when I think about what goes on in there. And we pretend we don't know about it. As if Roachtown isn't even part of Clawville. This won't end well. I'm afraid soon Clawville's gonna burn once again. And because of its own foolishness. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Well, that's if another meat war doesn't break out first. Because then, the whole wilderness will burn. Lovely prospect, eh? Either way, it was a damn clever move for Wessler to hide the body in Roachtown. It's the only place no one will ever find it. Like the belly of a burning ship. Oh, I think that was an intentional red herring. Sounds about right. Who'd have thought? I believed that little rat. I thought he'd changed. Idiot. <laughs> There's a point when it's too late to change, Marty. His past caught up with him. Whatever he did since then doesn't matter. Not much. Exactly. And that's the case with us, too. That's why I won't back down. Even though a voice in my head is screaming right now, leave it all to hell and have another drink. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should. Okay, so the picture is... No, well, that could be the case, but I believe the roots go deeper than that. Which we'd only learn if we talk to him. I mean, if the corpse isn't him, because then we'd need a medium. Which would be exciting, but maybe it's enough if we ask the doctor who treated him. That too, yeah. But where's the fun in that? Codex. The Great Meat War. Damn. That's crazy. We also have every character almost locked except for three. Okay, so the no, that could be the case. Which, which, which uh, that too. Okay, so the picture is more or less clear. Ibn's got his brother killed because he learned Natasha worked. No, that could be the case. Which we don't. Which would uh, that too? Please say the floor inside is covered with conspiracy theory papers and notes written with your own blood. More like dirty clothes and empty bottles, Marty. Sorry. Uh, you're no fun, Sonny. <laughs> well, you'll get old eventually, too. Never! So... Not long after I met Molly. I see. So what the cluck are you doing in the picture? I helped around the orphanage for a while. As a 
A volunteer. So you were a kindergarten teacher? No. Relax, Sonny. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It makes me think of you from a new perspective. Stop it right there, Marty, while you can. <laughs> can I ask an honest question, Sonny? If you must. You think of her differently now? Because of what you've learned? I don't really know. Our shared past didn't change. Our daughter, our experiences, our pains. Yeah, I guess you're right. But yeah, Marty, I think of her differently. I won't lie. I'm sorry. I know, Marty. Hey, if you like music so much, why don't you have a turntable, Sonny? <laughs> Maybe I love the silence even more. <laughs> the silence of Clawville. You mean the sirens, the gunshots, the crying, the screams, and the wailing? Yeah, something like that, Marty. It's chaos and mayhem wherever we go. Yeah, I never thought I'd say this, but uh, you're right. I never knew how much I missed it. Ah, that feels good, Boss Bird. Just don't get too excited. You've heard the gossip, haven't you? That they were the ones to set fire to the city before saving it? Everyone heard that, Marty, but most likely it's sheep shit. I don't know. Somehow it fits for me. First, they burn down the city. Then they save it with their influence and money. And then they're heroes. You watch too many movies, Marty. They had zero reason. They saved the city because all their business and political interests were here. If everything burned, all they worked for would have turned to ash. It must be horrible to live inside your head, Boss Bird. I don't see it that way. I don't believe everything's directed by cold, calculated logic. Because it's not. But most conspiracy theories are just pure, made-up sheep shit. The real conspiracies never come to light. Ah, so you do believe in them? Eh, I believe in the possibility, and what I see with my own eyes. You're an awfully worn piece of old furniture, pal. I hope you know that. Try this one more time. Let's see if it works now that I've talked to Marty for a little bit. Hello. You've called the There we go. Now it wants to work. Uh, well, I'd like to uh, inquire about a patient who I believe is being uh, uh, treated at your institution. Uh, his name is Albert Wessler. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't give out that information if you don't have the password given to relatives. Do you have one? Unfortunately, I don't have that. I'm not a relative. I'm calling from the Clawville Police Department. Oh, I see. In that case, Officer, I'd advise you to visit our institution personally. Our director and I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, miss. I guess I'll do that. We'll welcome you with open arms, sir. Have yourself a beautiful starlit night. Beautiful starlit night, huh? Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, goodbye. Okay. So we have to go there. Ah, the thought gives me goosebumps. Right? Totally not a trap. Chicken bumps aren't good enough for you. Ha ha ha. So how do I leave? Why are you not why are you not letting me leave, game? What have I not done yet? Like, I why is it still keeping me here? The great fire. Keep thinking I can go somewhere or really? go not somewhere, Were but go there, then? but it's not letting me. How old are you exactly? I was three. And maybe it's not even a true memory, just the collective memory of the city. I see the flames. I see the burning buildings. And I hear the screams. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you weren't born in Clawville. Aren't you from Iveria? Exactly, Marty. 
We were just visiting Clawville when the fire broke out. I'm surprised you ever returned. Well, maybe that's the reason I did return, Marty. It's like when someone falls in love with their captor, you know? Somehow, I feel like this is my place. No matter how much suffering it brings, Clawville's fate is intertwined with mine. Heavy stuff. So just gotta interact with everything. Books I've never... I don't understand why Saladin believed it. You Are you talking? Huh? <laughs> you and me both. A closet that. All right. A stack of paper. Yep. I've had enough. Huh. When all of this is over, I'm going to go on that long journey. Sure about that. So, I get the couch? It'd be better if I called Lewis. He'll open up a room for you to sleep in. Whew, great idea. Nautica. I don't understand why it's not letting me leave, man. I'm, I, I don't. It's not giving me the option to go. Why did you keep that wristband? Oh man, I totally get you. Yeah, I don't know what I have to do here. I don't know what I have left to do. I don't, it's just literally not letting me leave. So I don't understand. I'd still like to take a peek. I would. Oh, it gets more. Not quite sure what I'm missing. I think I've interacted with everything already. It's just not. Letting me go. A closet. Lewis, I don't remember what his number is. Molly, my ex. What the hell is Lewis's number? It's a piece of a. Uh. See, look at my book. There he is. Nine three two. Hey, Lewis, it's uh, it's me again. Oh, hello, Sonny. What's up? Were you sleeping, pal? Me? Oh, I wasn't. Anyway. Would you open up a room for Tora san, Marty? Tora-san, nianpasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Naturally, Sonny. Thanks, Lewis. I'm not even gonna say it. I will. You owe me one. Again. Yeah. Oh, go.
chapter four, huh? I slept like I Farewell, used to sleep my lovely. years ago, like a miner or a soldier, empty, dead tired. Then I saw Tessa, my darling little daughter. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't recall her face. I reached out to her, but she just kept getting further and further away. Then I saw Molly. But she wasn't real. Just the ghost of a memory. I'm here, I cried. But all I heard was laughter. Not hers. Who's there? Suddenly, she appeared. Natasha. Just stood there laughing. But her eyes were cold. Then she said something. Painted red. Painted red. Painted red. Damn. Yeah, it was just a dream, Sonny. Nothing more. I looked at Marty and I saw the same thing in his eyes as he probably saw in mine. It's time to hit the brakes, to turn back, go home and forget about all of this. <laughs> of course, I stepped on the gas instead. <laughs> 